just a country boy And he's making it good He was Charles under dog Best and Beaver all Living next to the wood <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. It's your pal. It's your compadre. It's your Christmas version of uh, John to the no air horn, but jingles, sleigh bells, reap. I wish I had some sleigh bells right now. I hope you're having a good Christmas Eve. I know I am. I mean, this is one of my favorite times of year. I mean, look at me. I look like Santa Claus in his 40s. I look like a 48-year-old Santa Claus. You look like a, the Santa Claus who hasn't quite figured out what he wants to do with his life yet, but you know it has something to do with toys and, yeah. and, and velvety hats. <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, I've always liked balls dangling around my face. <laughs> yep, so there you go. You're kind of a custom No, but I do look... I mean, Santa Claus was a ginger. I mean, according to that cartoon. Do you remember the, what, what cartoon was that? Do you remember like what that, I'm talking uh, about? It was like that, uh, you know... What it's a it? weird... Uh, the claymation uh, special, yeah. stuff... But uh, yeah, he was he was red hair and then yeah. red beard before he became Santa. So. so you're welcome. That's what this is, and this is just going to be a short little uh, Christmas uh, edition of Country Ish. It's just yeah. me and the Alan Jackson. That's right, the real one. Um, I'm going to start calling you the Alan Jackson. I think you like, should. I'm going to hit the word the. Okay. Because someone brought this up to me the other day mm-hmm. that you everyone's got a nickname except you. That's true. And I said, well. Technically, Alan Jackson is the best name, yeah. um, but but I'm going to make it the Alan Jackson. I think that's right. I, I can work with that because you've got Sebastian mm-hmm. Stamos, Stamos, the Alan, the Alan Jackson. Jackson. I like. That. I want people I to accidentally, if they're just mm-hmm. cruising around the interwebs looking for a new podcast to listen to, and they happen to like the other Alan Jackson. Yeah. Maybe they'll accidentally listen for, <laughs> so, for a second and go, oh, that have been too bad. So now I know the, the truth of why I'm one of the co-hosts. <laughs> so it's, just well, for the, it's just for the Google hits and is that's, what it is. <laughs> there's, yes, but it's not just you. I'm doing it to Mark Hunt. I'm calling him Marcus Stamos. Right. I want someone to think, well, that might be John Stamos. Well, let's go see what they're talking about. Yeah, okay. So so you're just using all of us. Now, yeah. so, Sebastian, I'm not sure what well, the connection I'll tell you, there is. Sebastian. Yeah. yeah. There's a comedian named Sebastian right okay. now. Maniscalco is very, very popular. All right, so we're just so glomming off of that. Now, yeah, so. whatever. Perfect. I and love then, it. And then maybe maybe they'll look up John Reap, too. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, it's my Christmas wish is that, <laughs> oh, there we go. I could ask you. I could ask, I could tell the the, the viewers mm-hmm. what I want for Christmas. Yeah, I mean it is it is Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve, right? And it's you know last chance to kind of get get your wishes out there. So so what you got? If you want to do anything nice for me, for my podcast, for this Christmas, I would like for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Now, if you've already done that. Then the next step is to share it with five people. Okay. Share it with five people. That's very reasonable. Yeah. Pick out five people that you think might like this. Yeah. Because if you do a generic share, it goes to everyone on your page. But but I think if you send it to someone, like, uh, just specifically one person. looking for people who appreciate good quality entertainment. Yeah. And, uh. Five people you hand select right. for that. So that that would be that's something you could do for me. It costs you no money, and it would make me feel great. Um, so it's just me and Alan Jackson, the Alan Jackson, the today, Alan Jackson, uh, doing a special Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, brother. Merry Christmas yeah, to you, brother. So, uh, I want to say thank you mm-hmm. for allowing me to use your studio Absolutely. to create this podcast. Absolutely, we've enjoyed it. It's been a, it's been a great year doing it. So it's been fun. Onward and upward, more to come. Absolutely. Now I've got this stupid Christmas hat on because, like I said, I'm a, a ginger. I mean, I'm a young Santa Claus. It was a ginger, but also like. I do like it when people do the ugly sweaters. And one year, I couldn't find, uh, I'll show people on Facebook. Yes, here we go. This is the ugly sweater. I don't know if I stand that this will be bad. But you got, uh, basically it's a, it's a vest sweater. Mm-hmm. And the idea is it's a hairy chest guy with, you know, lots of tattoos. That is not real hair you're looking at on no, the chest is, area there. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all fake, but... Um, I got this last minute about four or five years ago. Um, 
in the mall in Hickory, yeah. Valley Hills Mall. Mm -hmm. I was walking around Belk, mm -hmm. and I was invited to an ugly Christmas sweater mm -hmm. party, and I didn't have one. Yeah. But I've always kind of liked that. And mm -hmm. I thought, let me get, uh, uh, there won't be anybody, any left at this time. Right. But I found these were made specifically for it. No, it's perfect. And, you know, real sweaters are hot. And I don't yes. like, I don't like, I get hot easy. So you don't have to worry about that with that. So there we go. I do have to tell you something related to, to the ugly sweater. And yeah. I, I should have brought my in. I forgot all about it. But um, I, I was also invited to an ugly Christmas sweater party a couple of years ago. So I went to Walmart or somewhere just like, all right, let me go find something. And I did. I found god-awful ugly yeah. sweater. So happy. And can take it up to the counter. And uh, the woman at the counter, you know, I hand her the sweater. And she's like, oh, you know, getting all Christmassy here. I'm like, yeah. It's like I'm going to an ugly Christmas sweater party. So I figured that was a good fit. <laughs> And she's like, oh, and then she looks behind me, and sure enough, I turn around, the woman behind me, an older woman, actually has the same sweater, like, ready to buy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, but it looks great on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's classic. So, and she heard you say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You can see her just, like, looking down at her sweater and looking back up. I'm like, no, oh, but it's great for you. That's I'm, like that it, Ted Knight, uh, Rodney well, Dangerfield from Caddyshack, well, where he said, like, oh, <laughs> Kind of asshole would wear a hat like this, and he turns around. And he says, "Looks good yeah, on you. It works for you. It works for you." <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was great. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, uh, I haven't. That hasn't happened to me, but okay. like some of my favorite Christmas memories, I, I, most of them happen on my mom's side of the family. Mm -hmm. Like my mom uh, has a bunch of brothers and sisters, and this mm -hmm. big family, and um, we would all go to uh, her, my grandmother's house, right. on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And we played that game where you, uh, uh, what's it called? Where you uh, ex you take gifts from people. It's like the Dirty Santa? Dirty Santa. Yeah, yeah. There's other, there's other names for it. Right. But we played that. <clears throat> and I just, my my mom's, one of my mom's brothers, Kenneth, mm -hmm. he's mentally challenged. Okay. And so he, uh, he would always do like a really, he was hilarious. Yeah. He always did really good uh, Elvis impressions around Christmas times because oh, cool. we listened to yeah. Elvis Christmas music. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, and he would start mimicking Elvis, and it mm -hmm. was fun. He liked the attention, and we all thought it was funny. We had a good time, and and so, so during, one year during Dirty Santa, um, oh, I'm like, well, I'll do a gag gift. Yeah, you know, I'll, right. I'm just gonna. I, I found an old nasty shoe mm -hmm. in my closet, like mm -hmm. the one that I went to a tubing with and. Used to get you know walk on underwater on rocks and stuff like that. It was mm. nasty, and so I, I thought I'm gonna take one shoe and I'll mm. just put a gift certificate in the shoe. Okay, you know like of the twenty five dollar value or more or whatever, right. and then I'll wrap that up and then see how this plays out. Mm -hmm. And everyone's getting gifts, everyone's grabbing different stuff, and I see Kenneth go for the gag gift. Uh -huh. I was like, no. Yeah. No, I forgot about yeah, like, right because I don't know how this is gonna you know I don't know what's gonna happen. Sure. So he opens the gift. Mm -hmm. Now my brother knew about it, and my one cousin Holly knew about it, and they were kind of like doing like, yeah, like oh sure. no. And so he he gets the gift. He opens it up, and he's holding up this dirty, nasty, soggy oh, no. shoe. Yeah. And he looks at it, and he goes, "I don't believe it's gonna fit." <laughs> That's all he said. That's great. And it was the perfect <laughs> no, response. Was perfect. That was great. <laughs> and I said, no, Kenneth, there's a gift. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I'll give you the other one if you want it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's just a gift. We, uh, okay, but, okay. we get it. We get it. Um, but, yeah, fun. man, I mean, growing up, Christmas was fun. I mean, do you have any oh, yeah. fun Christmas memories? Any like Christmas so, movies or anything? Let's right, do so, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and I know you mentioned Christmas movies. There's an important question somebody oh, asked a minute ago okay. that I got I got to pose about got a it. Christmas movie. Got it. Controversial Christmas movie. Oh, I think um, I know what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, for me, yeah, I, uh, I, one of my 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 favorite Christmas memories is I don't ask me why, but growing up, I was a big Miami Dolphins fan. Oh. Interesting. I know, right? That, that expression yeah. you gave right there pretty much that's it. I was like, how does oh, that happen? Oh, huh. Interesting. <laughs> I only knew one other person that liked yeah. the Miami Dolphins in our, in our town. It was Rodney Johnson. Oh, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I, Jeff remember John. I don't Dolphins. know why they did. I, I don't know why I did either. And then my brother, <laughs> my younger brother, liked the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. A lot of people did that. So, one, yeah. you know, we got uh, for Christmas one year, we woke up and sure enough, we had, uh, you know, I had an orange. Uh, football uniform with the Miami Dolphins helmet, okay. and my brother got the the Dallas Cowboys ones and all. And then, uh, 
And the Dolphins were never good, so I still can't quite figure out why. <laughs> right. Why I was I mean, interested in that. So. Was it when Dan Marino was playing? I think it was during the Marino years. I mean, they were actually pretty good for a while. Yeah. There. And it yeah. used to be, I think, on Thanksgiving and all. Sometimes even the Dolphins and Cowboys would play. Yeah. It'd be kind of a big game. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is like early mid seventies. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think it's one fun. of my favorite ones. Uh, I mean, I've told, I've talked about this on the podcast before. Mm-hmm. I just it was a phase where I loved ninja stuff. Oh right. You know, um, I, I got the ninja magazines. Yeah. I had the outfits, and there were ninja magazines. Oh, really? Yeah, you subscribe yeah. to them? And, yeah. You know, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But there, with a no, it's a lot of them now. But a ninja's supposed to be secret. It should like putting on a subscription you list. You couldn't just that, go to a store and get it. You had right. to, you know, it's just like you had to know the sensei, right? You know, the, the right password secret, to say secret magazine, right, secret stuff, yeah. and then and then they just appear one day. <laughs> right. Just all of a sudden, you, you don't know. There's no postage. <laughs> it just comes, and uh, yeah, I, I remember loving these ninja magazines, and so I, I remember uh, in the back of the magazines. Mm-hmm. There were ads for all kinds of stuff, like throwing stars, like weapons. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I want these ninja weapons. You know, I want, yeah. I want that. I want all these different throwing stars. Mm-hmm. I wanted a uh, butterfly knife. I wanted nunchucks. I wanted like, the, you know, there was one thing I didn't get, which is called a sai. Oh, uh, that's like the little short. It's a knife tiny thing. little sword. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Those and, would be cool. Th- yeah. And then I wanted some uh, cat claws. It's these things that you could put on your hands. It's got claws that you could like yeah. climb a tree with. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure my muscles are strong enough to hold my whole body just by the palm of All my hand. All you need are the claws, and you can totally do it. <laughs> right. So, right. I already had the boots with the claws. I just needed the hands, and then we're we're, we're good to go. But uh, I ordered a bunch of stuff out of the magazine. I told them this is what I want. Now I, mer- I got the whole speech. Yeah. Almost just like a Christmas story about you. I'm not going to get you the BB gun because you'll shoot your eye out, right. kid. But my mom's saying, like, well, I can't, we're not going to give you weapons. <laughs> I'm going to give you a sigh. <laughs> a sigh? You, want a, you want a sword? You want these throwing stars? And so um, I just didn't think it would happen. And lo and behold, Christmas morning, yeah. I open it up, and I got a bunch of different Christmas uh, throwing stars. Oh, my gosh. Wow. A bunch of throwing stars. Like real throwing stars. Yes. Um, oh, the, I guess they ordered cool. from the magazine. And I had some ninja gear, you know. Yeah. I didn't get the sigh. Oh, um, well, yeah. There had to be limits. But you got to ask for more than you want so you can get what you want. <laughs> See, I didn't even knew then the art of the deal. <laughs> I still, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's one of the coolest uh, Christmas gifts. Yeah. Real authentic stars. And then I stars. almost killed my brother. Okay. <laughs> and like, a, truly. Really. And every other neighborhood kid. No, we almost right. killed each other. I don't have yeah. a... Spe- well, okay. One specific event, uh, we were throwing uh, these Chinese throwing stars at a, uh, a tree house mm-hmm. that some guy had built in his yard. Yeah. And Jeff... No, I was in the... Almost killed myself. Almost got myself killed by uh, my own weapons. Okay. I happened to be in the tree house doing something. I was just... I was below... Like a window, there was no glass. It was just a window frame. But mm-hmm. I was just kind of below that, and these kids were throwing the stars yeah. at the house, oh, and I geez. could hear it. And I would, I would duck, and I would duck, and then one one came right at my head, and I ducked right at the last minute and stuck it like the a ninja. right behind me. I did. I used my ninja that skills. Good. That was really impressive. my cat like reflexes <laughs> saved my life that day. But uh, that uh, was fun. I, I mean. That was I mean, that was my favorite one of my favorite gifts. I mean, the other big gifts I got were usually yeah. a birthday or something like right. that. Right. But what about Christmas movies? You want to go? Oh, also this mm-hmm. I could do this. Mm-hmm. My favorite Christmas movie. Yep. And I think we've talked about this off the podcast before, okay. but these people don't know our opinion. My favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story. Now I know a lot of people get tired of that one because mm. TBS and TNT it plays it twenty four hours and it's been playing forever and ever and ever. But it's I think they've already have they already started playing it. I'm pretty sure they have. So. Actually, my dad when we got my dad home yeah. for Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. he requested that we watch A Christmas uh, Story, even though it wasn't Christmas yet. Yeah. He was like, let's get in the mood, you know. So well, I'm sure there's a cable channel that was already probably running. I just it, bought so. it on demand. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But um it's good to have around. We love that movie. I've actually been to that house oh, yeah. in Cleveland yeah. and took a tour. Mm-hmm. Um I, I basically look like Scott Farkas, <laughs> you know, the red kid. Oh right. The, he's <laughs> the, the one that got the uh, tongue stuck to the pole, right? No, 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 that was a different friend. Scott Farkas was the redheaded bully who had yellow eyes. Uh, that got beat up by Ralphie. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bullied gotcha. Ralphie so much yeah. that Ralphie snapped That's and right. jumped on him and just beat him till blood yeah. came out of his nose. 
But I kind of because he's a ginger, a I kind of look like scene him for the Christmas movie. It, it so, is. You know, no. That movie's great. There are some cuss words in it. You, yeah, you don't you forget about it, but like mm-hmm. the dad cussed like a sailor, right? Um, but that's my favorite uh, Christmas movie. So um, mine is I actually love the movie Scrooged with uh, Bill Murray. Oh, that is a great. That's movie. That's a good movie. I, I I love that movie. So I need to uh, see that one again. Yeah, it's good. It still holds up. It's still uh, still got. A, there, there's yeah. some scary monsters in there. Yeah, it's kind of intense at times too. <laughs> a little scary, but and um, it's really heartwarming and it ends s- really good. I yeah. mean, just as a great great feel good ending. That's so, a total uh, Bill Murray movie too. Absolutely. Like no one could have played. I don't think that movie could be made without Bill Murray. No, I think they, the director basically said, "All right, Bill Murray, go just do go Bill do Murray. your thing, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow you with a camera yeah. and see what happens." Yeah, so, the script yeah. is four pages. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we'll build it around. Yeah, you. we're doing a Christmas Carol, but you know the deal. Just go do it. Yeah. You know? So, oh, that's uh, a good one. I, didn't I see love that, that again. movie. Yeah. I, I you know I like I like newer film. I'm not I'm, I'm I've never been a huge fan of like kind of the the old traditional. I mean, It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, it's a great movie. I mean, but, it's, I, know, I guess it good. is. I've yeah. not really seen it all the way through. It's kind of yeah. you know, as a uh, when I was a kid when it would air a lot before mm-hmm. a Christmas Story aired all the time. It was that yeah. that aired all the time. Sure. And that thing was boring to me because yeah. it was black and white and I was a kid. You know, there's no action and I still liked cartoons. So maybe so, I, I should watch it as an adult. Well, I think I think we kind of get connected to the ones we see, you know, as we're growing up and we yeah. like as, you know, and all that. Well, you did have a, a, a question and I am going to say uh, anybody on Facebook, let's fire us some questions. Anything Christmas related, right. holiday related, we'd love to answer some questions. But we did have one uh, earlier since we're talking movies and I know this is a yeah. opinion you and I batted around before, but okay. Uh, somebody we had asked, and I'm going to kind of pull up and see who it was for sure. Uh, Tyler Starnes asked, "Is Die Hard a top five Christmas movie?" <laughs> John, I know, I know, you've got a very particular right. opinion uh, on this. It is not a top five Christmas movie. It is not a Christmas movie. Oh boy! It is a movie. Oh boy! It's an action movie. It's a great action movie that happens to take place around Christmas. But it is not a Christmas movie. Now, um, a Christmas movie, in my definition of a Christmas mm-hmm. movie, it has to be Christmas themed. This movie, uh, Die Hard, is not Christmas themed. It just happens to take place around it. You see in the background Christmas stuff. Now, there's some little jingle, little references here and there, yeah. but it's not really a Christmas movie, in my opinion. Alan, go. Well, okay, John, you know I. <laughs> You know I love you, I, I, but yeah. you're completely wrong on oh, this. All right, it is a Christmas movie hmm. because I mean, you know, if if I'm with the family and I want to watch a movie over Christmas, that's one I will consider watching. Right, it's got a great ending where the family's brought together. It's about you know a couple that's kind of estranged, but over Christmas time they come back together. Right, killing terrorists. I mean, you know, it's all the Christmassy it's, things. You want it's it's the, tis the season for yeah. the. Uh, hijacking it's got that buildings. Run DMC Christmas song in the middle I like of that. it, you know. So no, I, I, I say it's Christmas. Can I add, do some follow up questions? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I haven't seen the film in its entirety in a while. Just bits and pieces sure. here and there. They made like forty seven diehards, and I can't yeah, they keep did. up. Yeah, um, in the original one, that's the right. Christmas one, right? Yes. Uh, and technically, Die Hard and Die Hard Two both took place at Christmas time, but okay. we're not going to talk about Die Hard Two okay, because it, it's no good. So first one, the first one yeah. is there a gift? Is Bruce Willis trying to deliver a gift? Yes, for Christmas. Yes. Now very, I just uh, now I might change my opinion. Very first shot of the film is him in an airplane uh, luggage, uh, airport terminal, getting his luggage, mm-hmm. and it's a giant stuffed bear. Right, he's got to take home to his kid, and that's for Christmas. How the whole thing started. It is. I now change my opinion. Aye, yay, we got it. Because uh-huh. it needs to be about Christmas, yeah. and that's what it was about. He was just simply trying to deliver yep. the gift. Of the bear, he was being a Santa Claus. Yeah, flying across the country to deliver this this stuffed animal, and then a bunch of other crap happens, and a bunch of other stuff happens, and then but at the end, there's snow falling or what looks like snow falling. Yeah, and he's reunited with his wife, and he gets to go home and see his kid. Does the Christmas kid get bear. the the gift at the end? I mean, is there actual? We don't actually see that. Oh, but really? it's implied that you know. Okay, I mean, unless the bear was in the building when it blew up. I was going to say the bear. <laughs> so, it may have been like you know. No, no, no. The stuffed bear was inside the limo with the limo driver waiting for him to take him to go. So yeah. it, it happened. I think. The, I think the bear survived. And I think the bear made it to the kids at the end. All right. 
on a technicality. <laughs> Die Hard, I will, I will give you that it is now a Christmas movie. Uh, before that, like I said, I've always seen bits and pieces. Yeah. Uh, uh, Home Alone is a Christmas movie. Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. We, we agree on that one? No, I mean, yeah, no, it's around Christmas. No, it's definitely a Christmas movie. Okay. It's a Christmas movie. I just, I don't, I don't like it. But you didn't like it? No, yeah. Not really. I, I liked it. Yeah. I like Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci's yeah, Joe amazing. Pesci is everything good, he does. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of another. Oh, what we were talking about before. Yeah. Um, the um, Santa Claus being a ginger, the mm-hmm. old animated. Not, what, what do you call that? It looked like a Tim Burton film before Stop Tim Burton. Motion animation. Stop motion animation. That's it. Yeah, it's like little puppets moving yeah. about mm-hmm. uh, young Santa Claus, mm-hmm. and uh, he befriends some kid who wants to be a dentist in the toy factory shop or something uh, like that. Hermie, I believe. Hermie. Is what somebody told but, us. Um, um, but I remember liking that. That's one of my top five because it brings back good memories uh, from when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, is and I'm confused. Is the abominable? I can't say that word. Oh, wait, Abom- let me, yeah, yeah, let me try ahead. it. Go ahead. Abom- abominable. Abon. Uh, am I saying Obama? <laughs> abominable. <laughs> well, you got me thinking too hard about it now. Abom- abominable. Abominable. <laughs> what is that word? Abominable. It's not abominable. It's abominable. The but what does it mean? Snowman. That I think it's just like the big, undefeatable. Undefeatable. Someone correct us, um, please. Yeah, abominable. I've never been able to pronounce that. What does abominable? I can't pull up the the, the right, Google because we got on. the uh, we got the fireplace going. But somebody somebody yeah Google that tells us what that is. Hit us up. Abominable Snowman was a character. Was that two separate movies? Was that in the same movie with? I think he was. Yeah. Because I think basically Santa Claus kind of gathered this little motley group of people to yeah. go with him on the adventures. And somebody, Jack Beach, is saying uh, that Mumbles is the name of the monster. Mumbles. Because remember, Mumbles, or the monster, had a toothache. Right. So right. Hermes, the little elf who right. wanted it's to be a dentist, got to yeah. fix it. Okay. Yeah. So so then, so then is that two separate films, or that's in the same I think film? It's the same film. Yeah, okay. I think so. Um, yeah, that was like watching a Tim Burton movie before yeah. there was a Tim Burton uh, yes. for kids. It was, uh, yeah, it had some weird Just stuff the way it looked, on. yeah. Yeah, it did. So that's one of my favorite ones. Home Alone, uh, 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 Christmas Story. I'm trying to think if there's another one. That was, uh, Die Hard. How many times are you going to watch Die Hard? Oh, I mean, I'll see it at least once yeah. over the holiday. I mean, you kind of have to. Yeah. So. I enjoy that. My kids are old enough now that you know I can, I can we can watch it all together. It's a yeah. family bonding experience. So, you have any disasters happen like a like a worst Christmas ever? No, my my Christmases have been pretty pretty even pretty, kill. Pretty even kill. Nothing too dramatic. You? Uh, well, I, I lived in L.A. for yeah. eighteen years, and I tried to come back to Hickory uh, for every Christmas. But when I was married, uh, I think we spent maybe two Christmases in L.A. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of sad because, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, like L.A., everyone leaves Los Angeles for Christmas to go back to their hometowns. Right. Sure. Because no one's from there. Oh, yeah. But the only good thing about L.A. Christmas in L.A. is that you can park anywhere you want to park because mm-hmm. no one's there. Yeah. You, I mean, there are some things open. There's, you know. Um, There's some advantages. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's really kind of. Kind of sad. So being in LA, because it's not—it's not even. It doesn't even feel cold. Yeah, you know. I think it—it it snowed. Has it snowed on Christmas in your lifetime? And I know it has in Hickory at least once or twice. I, I want to say a couple times it has, but I couldn't tell you when. I don't know. I always when, like how that long when that happens. Oh, yeah. I think it, it happened as a kid once. It snowed on Christmas, and it was just like the happiest thing ever. I mean, I don't like snow. Okay, I, I I just don't. Okay. I, I think okay. it's the war. <laughs> Jesus, all right. I am Scrooge. Yeah, I'm like Mister. I know why you like and, Scrooge and so like much. Die Hard, no snow. <laughs> okay, no, just snow. Just to me, it just always messes things up. It just makes things yeah, hard yeah, to do. Eventually, but unless it's Christmas Day, yeah, there's a big snowfall. I'm all for fair it. game. Okay. Fair game. I just want it. I just want it gone by like the 26th, right. you know, so I can drive and go places. Yeah, so. I like it because it puts. Like you know, everyone it's everything nice. shuts down. It's yeah, like you yeah. have to, you know, plan if in the I'm snow. already going to be in my house and I want to be home, you know, all day with family and all that, then great. Snow, snow me in. I'm cool. Yeah. It's just the minute you know I actually want us to go anywhere and we want to yeah. go do anything, then I, I don't like it. So I agree. Can I? I got to bring up something. I think we may have been screwing up here. Oh boy. Um, so it sounds like that maybe the story we've been talking about uh-huh. with the whole Santa Claus TV show was actually the Rudolph. 
thread the reindeer special. Oh my special. goodness! Okay, that's what somebody's correcting yeah, me. Yeah, that's why I'm asking that. I thought yeah, there yeah. were two separate films. Okay, I think you're right. Yeah, and I think maybe the. Uh, I think it's very possible that the abominable snowman uh-huh. might have been from the Rudolph special, yes. not the Santa Claus not special. Not Santa Claus. Okay, Rudolph. They look very similar. Right. But one follows Rudolph, one, one follows, follows Santa. Santa. Santa Claus one, he's the one that had the, uh, who's the guy who was the Burger Meister? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. A different miser. Burger Miser? Is it the Heat Miser? Heat Mm. Oh my goodness! God, I really need the but Google. Th- I really I need the Google. Right right now. <laughs> I can give you my laptop uh, if you want to go for it. That or I may just have to x out the. Let me x out the the flames here for a minute. I think everybody knows what. Oh I'm, yeah, those aren't real flames. Yeah, yeah. We, we can we can actually stop those. That's you can get that on YouTube. I'm just running all over this cord. Oh. You can get that on YouTube. Just type in uh, fireplace logs. Oh. There's like eight versions. Let's of them. do this. Santa Claus. Yeah, because I want to get to, I want to get this I want to get this correct. Show while I'm doing this, John. Yeah. Any thoughts on fruitcake? Fruitcake, not on fruit a cake? fan. Uh, I don't know anyone who's ever ordered fruitcake or, or, or likes fruitcake. Or I, I, I think at this point, if you get a fruitcake, you're telling someone you don't like them. Like, go buzz off here. Take this stupid fruitcake. Uh, it's like a gag gift, you know. <clears throat> but uh, the, someone would bring fruit, fruit cake from time to time to my grandmother's house for Christmas, yeah. and I'm like, this I don't like it. Not a fan. I mean, what, what all fruit never, was in there? I've never had it. No, I've never had a fruit cake before. Oh, this, they just look disgusting. It's dumb. I'm not going to do it. It's a lazy person's effort of you making. You know, a I'm cake. to a point in my life right now. I, I kind of feel like I'm at the age where if I don't want to have a fruit cake, you can't you, make me have one. You'll never so eat I'll a never fruit cake. One. I'll never have a fruit cake. Well, now, challenge accepted, because okay. I want you to have a fruitcake. <laughs> is that going to be my challenge? <laughs> That's what's going to be to in To report your... back and see yeah, how Yeah, well, it tomorrow is so. Christmas, so I still have time to go get you your gift. Uh, maybe. Maybe we should exchange gifts. We do a little, a little gift exchange. Yeah. And I'm going to get a fruitcake. Freaking right. fruitcake. All right, so Santa Claus is coming to town. Right. 1970, stop motion. Yes. Um, let's see here. All right, so I'm recognizing some of these people. Um, yep, Okay. Here we go. Um, Winter Warlock. Winter Warlock. That's this guy over here in the yeah. corner. There's the Burgermeister. Burgermeister. He's the one that torches all the toys in front of the children of Sombertown. Okay. Yeah, we were way off on this. So I bet this you is... there's a there's a miser or, or something miser in the Rudolph version. Okay. Because there's got to be an evil villain in Rudolph. All right. So let's check that out now. So Rudolph. That's interesting. Now, I wonder if it's the same director or whatever, the same person who made Santa Claus is Coming to Town that made Rudolph. Uh, directed. It's the Rankin Bass, who are the, the kind of the famous for the, okay. the stop motion animation yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Rankin Bass did that, and I know they did the Rudolph show as well. And with Rudolph. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, 1964 stop animation. Rankin Bass Productions. Yep, there you same go. Same guys. All right, let's look at the plot here, and we'll see. There's the abominable snow monster of the north. Okay. You got Yukon Cornelius. Remember, he's the prospector <laughs> that they met. Right, right. Uh, and then we had... Um, Maybe I'm making up this heat miser thing. Maybe that Hermie, was the second one. Hermie is the uh, the elf that wants to be the dentist. The Island of Misfit Toys. Maybe, uh, I think there was a, a sequel to this. How many of these did they make? Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I believe there was a, a, a sequel. But uh, for my money, well, who's Fireball? Fireball who? Fireball's another reindeer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For my money, Burl Ives is, is the voice of Santa Claus. Like, of all the Santa Clauses that's ever been played in any movie, Burl Ives' voice to me is Santa Claus. All right, so I can look and see if there's a sequel. I think there was. This came out in 1964, and... Wow. 64 still holds up. He did... uh, Oh, yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I like the Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay. I'm all right with that. Um, It's a classic. I mean, you've got these two or three real classic TV shows you kind of have to watch this time of year, you know? I think I like, for Charlie Brown movies, uh, uh, for whatever reason, I like the Halloween version, you know... The Halloween That's the best. special over the Christmas one. Rudolph's Shiny New Year. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't recognize that. Oh, well, maybe there's not a heat miser. There's Jack Frost. Um, no, wait a minute. Was it Frosty? Frosty the Snowman? Oh, wait. I think you're right. We have to figure out what this heat miser. What if you just type in heat miser? <laughs> I think you're right, though. I think it's Frosty because that's, of course it would be. I mean, that would kind of It would sense. melt him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Heat miser. All right, let's just see what we get. Heat miser. Coming on Google. There, there it is. There's the heat miser. Now, see, so I kind of look like from? this dude. All right, so where is he from? Where does he? He's not an alternative rock band in Portland. <laughs> The oh, Year Without Google. Santa Claus. That's it. The Year Without Santa Claus oh. is another Rankin Bass production. Yes. Came out after the first one. So that's like the sequel to Here Santa Comes Claus. Santa Claus. There you go. Okay. And that's where we have the heat miser. Wow. I'm, I'm so happy we now got we to went the bottom pretty, of that. Pretty deep on that one. There's a snow miser and there's a heat miser. Wow. Okay. Well, we Good. That was a fun little aside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I, those those did confuse me because I never really sat down and watched one yeah. all the way through because I get distracted with something else. A toy, right. my brother, uh, <laughs> a cookie. <laughs> so, <laughs> But they always were on, yeah, you yeah. know? And so yeah. I, 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 I guess I was confused with what characters was in what. But yeah, They do kind of blend together. Yeah. And then somebody's also saying that Stan Francis was the voice of Santa. Burl Ives was the snowman narrator. Although I'm pretty sure Burl Ives did a he Santa did a Claus Santa, voice in something and in some okay. other show or movie or something like that. But so you're right. Yeah. He's got a great voice. He's yeah. a good Santa voice. I, I mean, one of my favorite Christmas songs is Burl Ives. Have oh. a holly yeah. jolly That's Christmas. Classic. It's the best time of the year. See? Yeah. I can do that. Um, and plus, I have a cousin named Holly. And oh, so around Christmas kind of times right when there. I would see her, I go, holly jolly. <laughs> and she, you know, get on her nerves. Um but yes, Christmas, a wonderful time. I hope that you are having a great Christmas Eve. Um, and I hope that you have an even better Christmas tomorrow. Don't yeah. forget to rate, review, and subscribe and share to the podcast. Let me ask you a couple quick other questions people had yeah. here on the, on the live chat here before we kind of wind things down here. But uh, uh, question, are you going to drink alcohol on Christmas Eve? Do you drink? Do you do you do you and family members have any drinks on um, Christmas Eve? Is that kind of a thing? Or well, not? Uh, normally, my uh, not always. I think we'll have wine. Yeah, yeah. My brother loves wine. Okay. So recently, uh, Thanksgiving red wine came out. Mm -hmm. So that'll happen. But um, we never really drink in the house. Mm -hmm. But one time, my grandmother did make a, a Christmas punch. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was eggnog. It was something with Sprite and Seven Up in it. Mm -hmm. I, th I think one year alcohol got in there. Okay, and uh, it was a good time. Absolutely. But I think it's just going to be wine this year. Just a wine. Yeah. How about you? Um, yeah, we normally fix drinks. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got to have my, my my whiskey sour. That's still, I mean, <laughs> that's my all year drink. I don't really have anything <laughs> special for Christmas. So. Well, it keeps you warm. Well, Ari, let me ask you a personal question. So. Uh, what's what's your what's your Christmas tradition look like in your family? Is it do you guys do any gifts Christmas Eve like mm -hmm. tonight, right? Or is it all Christmas morning? Right. Or do people still do you guys still get up early in the morning? I mean, yeah. what's the deal? It you always know? changes as you get older. Yeah, and, you sure. Know, but as a as a kid, mm -hmm. typically we would uh, on Christmas Eve we would go to my grandmother's house, my okay. mom's side, and do, right. that's where we would do Christmas on Christmas Eve there. Mm -hmm. So we would exchange. Mom said you could have one gift from under the tree mm -hmm. and take it over there. Okay. Uh, and the gift that you're going to use for the game, the game that you play, the Dirty Santa game. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so there's two gifts on that night. Okay. Uh, so that would be Christmas Eve, and that was always fun. Yeah. Christmas Day, I mean, as a kid, it mm -hmm. started early because you couldn't wait to get up yeah. and see what's under that tree. Oh, yeah. So, But the older I got, the less and less... I'm like, yeah. okay. it's like, and it's, it's I like get up 10, at a minute, 10 a.m. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm getting up early. <laughs> right. So it started off as a, the younger I was, I was up at like, as soon as the sun right. came up, I'm like, you know, jumping on mom and dad's bed. Let's uh -huh. go. Let's go. And then, you know, by the time I'm 13, I'm like, they're like, John, yeah. it's Christmas. I'm like, yeah, give me a minute. 10 more minutes. <laughs> yeah. And so I come out and go, cool, gift cards. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> right. I yeah. know. It's not exciting It sucks anymore. again. No, it's... Um, but we don't do. I mean, Christmas Day is chill. It's all about yeah. Christmas Eve for us. Okay, yeah. that's cool. See, we we do everything Christmas morning. Okay, I mean, Christmas Eve we don't we haven't really done much. Yeah, 
but all the stuff is on Christmas morning. So yeah. my brother and sister and I, we used to, uh, we still do now, we joke about who gets up first, oh. which it's gotten later and later every decade that goes by, but. Yeah, you know, we used. To, I used to set my alarm at like five a.m. Oh my god! Wake up just to place a phone call, like "Merry Christmas, I'm up," and then hang back and go back to sleep, just so I could win the. You bet mean of being no matter where all, you're at in the country? Yeah, just I'm not like get the, up. not in the same house, right? But like, yeah, we're spread out. Yeah, but the so goal is will, to see oh, if we can fun. get up. Who gets up the first? And uh-huh. I'll get up and call. Yeah. But then just go right back to sleep. It's just it's <laughs> worth it for the two minutes to be up and do that. So. Me and my dad and my brother started a tradition that we we were doing for a while there. It started on Thanksgiving. Where we prank call people, just mm-hmm. our own friends. <laughs> and it'd be like, hello. And you'd hear, on Thanksgiving, you hear, <laughs> and then we'd just hang up. That's it. And then they'd call back and go, hey, hey happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then and then we'd like, we've got to do that for Christmas. And then we'd yeah. just go, <laughs> Yeah. And then hang up. So, See, but we would, would be, do that. We'd do it. We'd do it for like hours, I just calling everybody just, we could. I think you should do it for random people, not just people you know. Oh, that's good. I mean, it's spreading cheer. It's good. We could do a cameo. You know, oh, go yeah. to, if you go mm-hmm. to my cameo page. If you go, to, oh, it's on johnreap.com. But if you go to cameo, c a m e o dot com, look look up John Reap. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do that for Christmas. I'll do. I'll dress like this. I'll be the ginger Santa Claus. I'll be the forty-something-year-old Santa Claus. Like there's a forty-year-old virgin. Yep. This will be the the forty-year-old Santa. Forty-year-old Santa. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And I will uh, talk to you like I thought. I think Santa would have talked at at this age. Yeah. Maybe he wasn't as jolly in his forties. He might not have been. Maybe you know he was. He's maybe battling old age. He wasn't ready for it yet. He didn't. Maybe he's a little more angsty. He's a little more, uh, you know, hasn't quite found his place in life yet. Yeah. So, so maybe the decision to be Santa came later. And, it, you know, and it's like the Incredible Hulk stuck halfway. Because other than that TV <laughs> show that we already debated about yeah. or tried to research, we've never, you don't really ever see Santa in his 20s, 30s, and 40s. Right. It's always other than that. Like, looks like 70s onward. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. He could have been a completely different person. Right. Then. We should build Very that. Different. We should make that movie. We should. Behind the scenes. What yeah. was the real Santa Claus like until, you know, age yeah. 70? Well, what was it that flipped and made him uh, get reindeer to fly in the air All right. and go we'll down get, chimneys? We'll get right on the yeah. script. That'd be perfect. Um, so, hey, hey, uh, so just a couple of people asking questions, but I'm just going to say uh, – you guys obviously came into the show late, and you'll need to rewind and watch it, because one question is, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Oh, uh, right, David right. Stuckel, Little Stuckel Leather, um, rewind. We've already covered that. Yep. And Michael Hauser, what's up with the shirt? Yeah, we covered that at the beginning of the show also. Right. So, hey, Mike. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Are you going to come by the house this year? Let me know. I can talk to, I can talk to either one of these. I'm, we're going live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So anyway, um, go to johnreap.com. And look up my tour dates if you're sitting around bored. I'm probably coming to your backyard. Uh, let's see here. You had a couple of people ask if you could do the turkey call one more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think Ready? that was a big hit. People like <clears throat> that. So, All right. I, I, it sounds like a turkey. It, I'm I mean, pretty good it, at it. It sounds perfect. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So if you record that, you can now make that your ringtone. <laughs> there you go. There's John Reap's Christmas turkey call. <laughs> That sounded erotic. <laughs> that sounded like a sexual position. I like to put her in a Christmas turkey. Oh, you know, another great movie is, um, well, I don't know how I forgot about this yeah, one. Right. Christmas Vacation. Oh, well, yeah. Chevy Chase. Absolutely. So we should put the, the commercial bit at the end of this episode. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We'll do, uh, but I also want to air it on its own. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put do it up both. individually, but we'll yeah. put it on the end of this show just yeah. too as well. I think. Yeah, stick around to the end of this one, and uh, you'll see the spoof uh, that we did of that uh, Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase. I play, well, different characters, but it's a promo for this podcast, and if you want to help, you can share it. Um, what else can we tell them to do? Rate, review, subscribe, and share. Absolutely. You know, that's all, that always helps. So I, you threw down the gauntlet about the uh, YouTube subscriptions. Oh, that's uh, right. By the end of the year, right? We right. said by the end of uh, December 31st. So as of right now, they still got like a week or so. You still have time. I don't know exactly yeah. where we're at right now. I don't have it in front of me. But just pretend that you need to help push it. And the challenge is I will eat a Carolina Reaper pepper uh, if I get to 18,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel yep. and we're going to record it. And what we'll do is go to an emergency room or an urgent care 
I will walk in with pepper in hand. <laughs> Alan will be recording me, mm -hmm. and I will simply walk up to the uh, the uh, the clerk or the desk lady and go, "Hi." She'll say, "What's your emergency?" I go, "Well, nothing yet, but I'm about to eat this pepper." Gunk, and then hilarity will will ensue, or maybe my death. Right. Um, Either way, we're getting it on film. Yeah, we're going to be awesome. So, <laughs> if you like, if you're tired of this podcast, if you're like, the only way to kill it is to kill him. So we're going to get to eighteen thousand. Um, but yeah, so, I think it's doable. So you got eighteen? Go, no, it's twenty. It was twenty. Was it twenty thousand? Yeah. Let's shoot for twenty. Twenty. Twenty thousand. Uh, I, mean, I think originally I said twenty-five. Okay. And yeah, I backed it down. We, we kind of backed it off a little bit. Yeah, but, but don't uh, worry, we got it written down somewhere. YouTube. Go to YouTube and search for John Reed yeah. and find the channel and just hit the subscribe button. That's all you right. gotta do. This is we're doing like a short little Christmas yeah. bonus episode because uh, you know we didn't want to leave you empty-handed. It is the season of giving, and we want to give you this gift of us. Stamos and Sebastian are out, you know, doing their Christmassy things. It's just right. you and me in the studio here for like the last little bit of the, right. the holiday. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm on the road. I'm trying to think. Where am I right now? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina, really? soon um, at Charlie Goodnight's Comedy Club. Come see me there. Then after that, for New Year's Eve, uh, and the night before New Year's Eve, I'll be in Syracuse, New York, at the Funny Bone. Then after that. January the 4th, mm -hmm. Asheville. Yeah, the Orange Peel. The Orange Peel. I love the Orange Peel. It's one That's of my favorite a, places. Me too. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's, that's only an hour from Hickory, so yeah. maybe this would be a good gift for yourself and for someone else, you know. If, if maybe you forgot to give a gift for someone. Oh yeah. crap! I forgot about Randy. Here's two tickets to John Reap in Asheville at the Orange Bill. I'm planning on going up to that one. So are you I'll gonna come? There. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll good. Be there. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Well, what else should we talk about? Ah, oh, man, not really getting any more questions. That's good. Yeah, at the point, I think everybody was happy with the uh, the turkey call repeat. And uh, I think my, one know. of my favorite characters from any Christmas movie has got to be Eddie from. Christmas, Christmas vacation. vacation. I mean, yeah. That That's, dude was so good at that character. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, A Christmas Story is probably my favorite Christmas movie. I, li I like Home Alone. I'm just recapping. <laughs> well, obviously, people are jumping in like midstream. So, yeah, yeah. We did decide that uh, I converted John to agree yeah, that Yeah, actually, Hard I is a kind Christmas of weirdly movie. converted myself with the yeah. questions I asked. Yep. Yeah. Now, you did. Yeah. We got John to believe other, Die Hard is a Christmas movie now. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Are there any other action movies that take place around Christmas that are trying to come into this category? You know, like like Die Hard wasn't always considered a Christmas movie, but within the last five years, people started talking about it like it is. Yeah. And it kind of took off, and now it's like um, a topic. But is there another action film or or so something one of the uh, one of the Batman movies with Michael oh, Keaton. That's the right. The second one was uh, Batman Returns. That's right. That one was set at Christmas. That was when That's Danny DeVito Christmas. was the Penguin. Yeah, had a little Christmassy thing to it going That's on. That's right. Yeah, but uh, what but about? No, I think Die Hard's still the one that kind of captured the whole yeah. action movie as a Christmas movie thing. What yeah. about horror films? Are there any horror Christmas films? There's got to be. Oh yeah, yeah, tons. I mean, Actually, I think there's even one coming out now, like Silent Night or Black oh, Black Christmas or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Tons of those, absolutely. Oh, somebody said uh, "Lethal Weapon." Lethal Weapon set at Christmas time. I, that's true. I Wait forgot a about that. Lethal Weapon or Lethal Weapon Two? Oh, maybe that's Mel. All right, Mel Gibson. David, are you saying Lethal Weapon the first one or Lethal Weapon Two as in also or Lethal Weapon Two as in the second Lethal Weapon? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's -O -O Lethal Weapon T O O, and I don't know if he's saying in addition or if he's saying. Right. Like the second one, so hopefully, it, well, I, I, he's saying Lethal Weapon two, the second, yeah, the one. second one. So it's a, that Christmas, one's a one. Christmas movie. I wonder if they did that because of Die Hard. It might have been because I think it came yeah. out after Die Hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the Die Hard, the the Christmas Die Hard, the first yeah. Die Hard, did yeah. that come out around Christmas originally? I don't remember. I just remember it was probably one of the first. Because that was one would, of the first rated R movies I went to, like like with my friends, like kind of snuck yeah. in to see. That would give I more. Think I was a little young for it. More, uh, more of an argument for you in the side of that it is a Christmas movie if it actually came out True. around Christmas. 
You know right. what I mean? Back to the Googles. Because <laughs> then, then it's like I would have no argument whatsoever. I'm like, well, John, it's a Christmas movie. It came out on Christmas right, Day. Right. We will we will determine this. This is if, so you're saying right now, if it came out in the month of December? Yeah, I'll give you December. Then it is Ooh. absolutely a Christmas movie. Yes, and if that's the case, is Star Wars a Christmas movie? I don't think Star it Wars comes came out, out in December. No, no. The, oh, this, new this one. these last four or five. There's always a Star Wars coming out on Christmas these days. No matter what, mm-hmm. I mean, you know. I, I, of course, it's not a Star Wars. I mean, it, no, I don't I'm, think no, it's. I'm, a, just, I'm frowning because no. the release date for Die Hard was July 12th. No, oh, this hurts you. See, now I'm thinking mm-hmm. maybe not. Maybe but it, not. But the movie takes place on Christmas Eve. Right. Um, also, nowadays, they only air, show that movie around Christmas time. Yeah, I mean, sure. not only, but more so than any other time of year, they will show that movie. Okay, here, let's do this. All right, Die Hard has been named one of the best action and Christmas themed oh, films ever made. Oh, so if two things can happen at but, the same time? But here, I, here's what I want to do. Let, they say, what are the best Christmas movies? Okay. Die Hard was voted the greatest Christmas movie by British film magazine <laughs> Empire in 2015. Of course, the British would. They, they think they know everything, don't they? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, now that the gift was given, you know, now that the actual teddy bear, yeah. that was the, that was the uh, momentum, that was the whole right. catalyst or whatever. I'm, so you're saying that saying because right there was word. a gift given on yeah, there, yeah. we're cool to say. I, I, I am now, uh, but I still don't think it's... It's a it's a great movie. I like it, but all right, people are saying they can't hear us now. So on Facebook, anyway, I don't know what's oh. going on. Um, what about food, Alan? Do you have a certain Christmas food that your family does? What do you eat for Christmas? Do you have a do you? Okay, let me ask it this way: Do you do a Christmas breakfast? Do you do a Christmas Eve dinner? Do you do a Christmas Day lunch? What what, what do you do? Um. We do a Christmas day, late breakfast, oh, early okay. lunch kind of thing. Right, right, right. It's like a breakfast thing, but you know, it's, but later it's, on we do it later yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Uh, we would do Christmas Eve dinner, and it would be like everybody would bring something, right? So it was a lot of food. Oh wow! My mom was always good at the ham. Like okay. she would do a baked ham. Um, uh, there would be uh, lasagna. Mm-hmm. There would be uh, turkey. There would be like all, uh, almost every main course. Okay. And then all the side dishes. That was New Year's. I mean, um, that was Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, because you pigged out so much the night before, you know, when you get up, you're not really, it's more about coffee. Mm-hmm. You know, let's get the coffee going. Yeah, true. Then, like what you said, Around 10, 30, 11. Yeah, 10, 30, 11. We'll do a breakfast. Big, it'll uh, be a breakfast. And sometimes, right. depending on the year and whatever is happening, um, it'll be scrambled eggs, bacon, and every now and then, if mom's feeling frisky, we get some pancakes. <laughs> but that's about it. Your mom has to feel frisky to get She's the She's got to be like, I, that, uh, pancakes. It's time for pancakes. It's uh-huh. been two years. <laughs> we'll do pancakes now. Uh, whatever. I mean, you know. But what, you got another question? It looks like someone's eager to ask something over there. No, okay. no, I think, uh, yeah, I think it was just uh, I couldn't hear us on oh, this thing very okay. good. It might have been with me back here. I don't know if they can hear me on the backside, but anyway. Yeah. Well, thank you all for, for stopping by and checking yeah. out me and Alan's uh, country-ish, Christmas-ish. Special Christmas memories <laughs> Is this episode. Christmas-ish? Uh, country-ish, Christmas-ish. Christmas-ish, country-ish, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Hope you have a great Christmas. Hope you have uh, you get everything you wanted, and you was a good boy or girl, and you wasn't on Santa Claus's naughty list, and uh, you know, and then more importantly, you rate, review, subscribe, and share to the podcast, and 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 spread this love. Right? Any final words, Alan? No, just uh, Merry Christmas, Merry to you Christmas. And everybody. Like that, so yeah, Merry Christmas. Bicycle!